with a cold one, but you don't know that I'm there. Sneaking up behind you just to sniff your hair. Coming up behind you when you're down with dark. Looking, but you don't seem because I'm a bit far. Everywhere you think that you might be all alone. Well, I'll be watching you in public or at home. Not stuck and just watching my little animal action. Cause I don't have a feel and I get no satisfaction. Yeah, I see you there, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm a fourth generation creeper. I've been a creeper myself for about 11, 12 years now. I've seen the game change quite a bit in, the, in my time as a creeper. There's all kinds of creepers you got now. You got your, your, your elderly creepers, the guys who creep on older folks. But some people who also creep on kids, and hell, I even know a guy who creeps on pets. I mean, that, that stuff's just wrong, man. You gotta, you know, I try to keep my distance from them. I try to keep it old school. That's why I like to uh, leer at the ladies, so to speak. <laughs> You know, my father was a creeper himself. He actually gave me some of the best advice I've ever gotten about creeping. And he said, son, being a creeper is like being a nature show host. You uh, observe, but you never get too involved. You be a Marty Stalford, don't be a Steve Irwin. If you're not careful, you're gonna get some, uh, you know, stingray prawns in your chest. Or perhaps you just get beat up by a jealous boyfriend. Either way, it's not pleasant. When you're creeping, your top priority is to remain calm. Now, what calm means is to be calm, cool, and collective. I said calm twice because it's double important. Now, when you're not calm, you're nervous. And when you're too nervous, you become hesitant. Now, when you become hesitant, that's when your mark can pick up on, you know, the energy you're giving off. Now, when you do that, you know, bad things can happen. So, the best way to combat that is to make sure that, you know, you got pretty of uh, alcohol running through your system. Now, there's a double-edged sword to that. Too much alcohol, it makes you overconfident, and then you lose your composure. And when that happens, it's easy to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, now that is an example of classic creeping. Oh, all right. Let's go back and some more dough. I'm just so excited for this. Whoa, 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 Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Hang with my lady. Anyway, I'm going to get a little bit of a patadón because she's got a little bit of a patadón. She's just like, my poor career is trying to get her now. Anyway, so I think that... Oh, man. That was a close one. <laughs> and now I think it's time for a change of venue. <laughs> What's up, bro? Huh? He's What's there, up? He's there. What's up? Where'd the pervert go, huh? Huh? Yeah, bro. He's gone. He's gone. Come on. Fucking magician shit. Let's go get our fish and chips. Get that fucking thing out of my face.
Hi. Hi. Uh, can I talk to you? Uh, oh, sorry. He's over here. Um, I just, I wanted to say that was, I see a lot of burlesque. That was some good stuff. Thank you. Really I good. really appreciate you coming. Uh, Thank you. You, you, you have you. a great night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, I just want to know. Yeah. Uh, I just have one question. Sure, sure. Those? Yeah, yeah. I made them. <clears throat> Can I keep this? Oh, no, you didn't. Everywhere you think that you might be all alone.